welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, my name's Bob, in case you're new here. Um, before we get started, if you have not yet, please subscribe. And we ask you to please share these out on the Facebook page. Um, today's video is on Howard McNear. You know him as Floyd the Barber. But there's some things you may not know about him. So let's get into it and see. The Andy Griffith Show is full of memorable actors. Uh, there was Deputy Barney Fife, and there was Gomer and Goober Powell, and Otis Campbell, and other town folk in Mayberry were just as memorable as the leading man, uh, Andy Taylor and his son. One of those lo beloved friends of Andy's, uh, who appeared numerous times throughout the show, was the sweet but slightly odd neighborhood barber, Floyd Lawson, uh, who just couldn't seem to trim Andy's sideburns evenly, actually as Barney's sideburns. Uh, actor Howard McNear brought the character to life, uh, replacing the initial actor who played Floyd in the first appearance. McNear was also a film actor, showing up in numerous Elvis Presley films like Fun in Acapulco, Blue Hawaii, and one of my personal favorites, Follow That Dream. Uh, but he will always be remembered for uh, being Floyd the Barber. Uh, he was born in L.A. in 1905, and after attending the Oatman School of Theater, he joined a theater in San Diego. He got a taste for entertaining the masses when he played operator Clint Barlow in the popular radio program Speed Gibson of the International Secret Police. After serving in World War I, I'm sorry, World War II, uh, in the United States Army Air Corps, he actually originated the character of Doc Charles Adams on the CBS radio's Gunsmoke program. Uh, so, actor Milburn Stone stepped in to play Doc on the television show. McNair appeared on several Gunsmoke episodes. Uh, he, he made his first appearance as TV barber on the sitcom Leave It to Beaver, playing Andy the Barber. He went on to have quite a lengthy film uh, career, appearing on countless more TV shows, including I Love Lucy, The Real McCoys, Jack Benny, uh, Donna Reed Show, Ozzie and Harriet, Twilight Zone, Peter Gunn, Dragnet, and uh, a whole bunch more. Uh, outside of his TV career, he also acted in countless films, Anatomy of Murder, uh, Bell, Book, and Candle, Kiss Me, uh, Kiss Me Stupid, <laughs> Heller in Pink Tights, Bachelor Flat, Escape from Fort Bravo, Drums Across the River, Aaron Boy, The Long, Long Trail, uh, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, and Irma La Douce, and Good Day for a Hanging. Initially, Walter Baldwin introduced Floyd the Barber in uh, episode 12 of the Andy Griffith Show, Stranger in Town. Uh, he originated the running gag that the shave he gives Andy is always off. But McNear uh, stepped up and played the chatty barber from then on. During the third season of the show, McNear suffered a stroke that seriously affected the left side of his body. He ended up taking time off to recover, but Andy begged him to come back. The show made special arrangements for McNear's condition, filming scenes on the bench outside instead of in the barber shop since he had trouble standing. He quit the Andy Griffith in 1967 as he was having trouble remembering his lines and it was getting increasingly more difficult for him. His final film performance had been the prior year in The Fortune Cookie, starring Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau in 1969. Uh, he passed away at uh, the San Fernando Valley Veterans Hospital in California following another stroke and complications from pneumonia. Parley Bear who also appeared on the radio show Gunsmoke, as well as playing Mayor Stoner on the Andy Griffith show, delivered his eulogy. Uh, he was survived by his wife, Helen, whom he had married in 1926, and their one child. The reason I chose to do this is because I'm such a big fan of Howard McNear. I think he's a very, very funny man. Actually, I believe even after his stroke, he became even more funny. But I've also seen him in those Elvis films, and he made his mark. He wasn't just Floyd the Barber. He was a really, really good actor. But he'll always be known as Floyd. Always. 
I uh, appreciate you being here. I appreciate you checking this out. Uh, have a great day. Uh, God bless, and I'll be praying for you. Thank you.